everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and the Star Weekly Angelic Message for the week beginning January 25th, 2021. Thank you all for bearing with me. I've been dealing with a migraine for the past couple of days, which meant I couldn't sit in front of lamps and try to even talk. <laughs> My speech, I don't know, it's coming back slowly, so we'll see how well this goes, but I definitely wanted to get this up. And I wanted to pass along this message that was coming up, um, actually start coming up this morning as I was coming out of uh, sleep. And there was this feeling here, it's a friendly reminder that what we're putting out into the field is what is being reflected back to us, okay? So this can be something that there's like a soul ping that goes out that then helps us experience something that we can learn from or that will awaken us to something else, you know, um, that we need to work on or realizing how strong you are, you know, whatever the case may be. Now, collectively, we are putting out an energy that is now being reflected back to us. This is where we start seeing this sort of like overcorrection of things or, you know, people going really far with their agendas and, you know, what have you. Okay. And there's tons of examples out there of that. But th the idea here is to really, <laughs> really, you know, when, you know, surface level things are trying to pull us in and trying to manipulate our energy to really be connected into that heart space. Again, this is not revolutionary. This is not something that we didn't already know, but it's just a friendly reminder. Now, um, I don't know if that's going to pick up. We've got tons of jets going over right now. I live in Colorado Springs, so it's been a lot of that kind of activity going on. But um, yeah, I think really it's about being aware. And I know me being a human being <laughs> with everything that's happened, uh, you know, in the past 13 months, I found myself getting pulled off course. I found myself having to really dive into that shadow work and, um, you know, it just, <laughs> it's just part of being human. Yes. And so coming back into our hearts and asking yourself, do I really want to carry the hate? Do I really want to carry the pain? Do I really want to carry the anger? Whatever it is for you. Do I really want to carry the resentment? When we start to learn and understand what happens outside of us in our energetic field, I don't mean like outside of us as in someone else's situation or a narrative or anything like that. But when we realize that, for example, if you're having money troubles, which a lot of people are right now, it's a very troublesome time. We are dealing with the collective, of course, but the message that I received this morning was you can have whatever it is that you want. You have to, you know, law of attraction, but you know, th that gets kind of watered down with the kind of information that's out there. What we're talking about here is being in alignment with a frequency that can actually, it's realizing our power right? The power that comes from the heart. And if you're coming from a pure intention, you can put that out into the energetic field and wait for something to come back. The thing that they're saying that blocks us so much, and we're going to get deeper into what this or how this kind of fits into the current um, climate, right? <laughs> the, the current context. Um, what ends up happening is that we put things out into the field that we want and we're limiting ourselves and then we're not changing our internal beliefs, or we have expectations, okay? So those are the two things where we miss a gift because we expect it to look a certain way. Again, we've talked about this for forever. Um, or you put it out there and you don't really believe that it could happen, okay? So this is that sort of thing where you wanna look beyond, I would even say like material things. Again, shelter, super important, <laughs> right? Being happy and safe and stable where you are, super important. Having transportation in our world is important, all right? You know, so it's not bad to ask for things, but come from a space of what can I put out into the field that will not only help me live a happy life, but can contribute something greater to the collective. Okay, now you might be sitting there going, okay, this is like, <laughs> we know this, Michelle, what are you talking about? Um, I know I always thought I did too. And then as I was getting this message, um, I started thinking, yeah, how often have I put my judgments out into the field or how often have I just assumed lost faith in people, just assume people are going to be cruel, just assume 
that the bad is going to win, you know, or whatever, whatever your, whatever the story is that's going on in your head. But that's just it. The whole message is to give yourself a chance starting this week, <laughs> right, to change your story. A lot of people are choosing anger a lot. And it's an ego thing. They just want to be right. And especially if you live in the United States of America, we're very divided. All right. <laughs> and people are still, uh, I think, feeling very uneasy. We still have a lot of other things, you know, besides the obvious. I mean, there's so many other things to consider and sort of a trickle down effect of everything that's going on. And I would imagine, you know, we, we have a global thing going on that I got to watch what I say here, but like, you know, there's so many things, uh, that can scare us. And I'm not saying bury your head in the sand and pretend like things aren't happening. I'm not saying being in denial, but we have to be more aware of what we're pinging out into the universe. And a lot of this, and this is the major message to pass along is without your awareness. I'm not mad about that. Of course you are. <laughs> I'm not scared about that. I'm not scared of anything. Yeah, you are. Okay. Remember, you can't fool the universe. So let this be a week where you lighten your heart a little bit. And if that means, you know, oh, I'm still angry about this thing, or I'm still upset about this, or I'm still scared about that. Ask yourself why, of course, be doing your meditation practice and see what answers you can bring in for yourself. What can you let go of? What can you release? that's holding you up. We all have to go through this, um, this letting go process. That's what we're doing together. And right now we're kind of in the, like we're going towards unity here, but uh, we're at the loud party and everybody showed up in uh, the attire they thought was appropriate. And now we're all kind of like, hey, you shouldn't have worn that or you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't say this and you shouldn't say that. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of commotion at first, we've got all these individual perspectives that are now trying to come together. And of course, that's not going to go well at first, right? <laughs> Everyone's clamoring for their space. And here's the thing. The space is infinite, okay? The experiences that people are having, you know, whatever it is that you're very passionate about. I have things that I'm very, very passionate about. And when I talk about them, I get people who roll their eyes at me because it's not their experience. And so they're like, oh my gosh, let it go, right? So this is idea of us not wanting to listen to each other's experiences, number one, because we think it's gonna start a fight or someone's trying to start something with us or they're ready to blame us for everything or we're supposed to feel this, that, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody wants to have any conversations for that reason. Now, when we get to a space where we can admit our own faults, and that's coming, okay? <laughs> if you're like, Michelle, what are you talking about? No, I think every day we're going to start realizing, oh, I do that. Or, oh, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. Or, oh, I shouldn't judge. Or, oh, you know, that we're going to start learning <laughs> where we're contributing to some of the turmoil and maybe learning, hopefully, how we can open our hearts more and start putting um, a, a, a nice narrative out there, right? So whatever story that you hear in your meditations, if you're putting out a visualization, right? So it has to come from the heart and it has to be coming from pure intentions for the highest good of everyone involved, you know, not trying to invoke anything over anybody's free will, or I think you should live this way. It amazes me how people will come and say, how do I get this person to do what I want? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And then we go into a long old discussion about not interfering with people's free wills. But if we're visualizing a peaceful world, if we are visualizing um, having the opportunity to interact with one another without any sense of fear, okay? And we, we drop our own, the hatred of ourselves. That's something that's getting put out into the field. If you, uh, if you don't like yourself, or you've believed maybe there's a narrative out there and we buy into it, that lowers your self-esteem and you're pinging off this anger and this fear and this hate. And then what gets drawn into your experience? You know the answer to this. You know the answer. You get other people who don't like themselves coming in and expressing their hate towards you 
and then you're hating them and they're hating you and it's back and forth, back and forth. And then you're looking at everyone around you going, why aren't you on my side? Why aren't you backing me up? It's that sort of thing that we need to start becoming aware of. We have been fed stories that drag us down and we need to let go of it. And we will recover and we will get there, but we have to allow ourselves to go through this process, okay? So you might, I mean, for everybody, it's going to be different. And as I always say, if you want a personal reading with me, come on in. It's angelsouls444.com. I also have courses over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. And you can see what's coming up for you. But, you know, for everybody, you might have an experience that really opens your eyes. Or you might have something that feels like a relief. Or you might have something come in where there's an opportunity for peace here. Okay, again, that might be on the individual level, but we are contributing to an overall um, feeling in the world and the way the world is functioning right now. So we need to take accountability for that. What do we put out there? And it's not that you can't have your discussions. It's not that you can't have an opinion on something. But what are you going to be a carrier of? How are you going to fill your tank up? All right. What are you going to be putting out into the world? Let's get onto the cards. Let's see what we have here. Expectation. They're coming back to that and saying expectation is what gets us in trouble. And not wanting to take accountability. I have been hearing so, so, so much now how people are feeling uncomfortable and they're getting angry and they're going after spiritual practitioners and saying, why didn't you tell us about this? Why didn't you? Uh, <laughs> listen, you know, <laughs> spiritual practitioners bring through whatever the collective is ready to hear in the way they're ready to hear it. If you don't like what's being put out there, change yourself. If you don't like the language that's being spoken out there and the, and the message that's going on, Change how you speak. Right? Change how you need to be spoken to. So the word accountability, I think that's going to be factoring in quite a bit. Okay. We can be in for nice times. We could. And watch out for people who are like, oh yeah, look at all the terrible stuff that's happening in the world. See, see, see. They're just trying to drag you down. Um... <laughs> The Bernie Sanders memes that are going all over the internet. I started seeing people on Twitter going, oh my God, these, these are just so annoying. I can't believe people are doing this. Watch out for people who are doing stuff like that. You know, this was something lighthearted, funny. It was a needed laugh. It's actually kind of, everyone's getting involved. It's kind of a weird connection right now. And people are expressing their creativity. So watch out for people who want to squash that. I'm sure they got their own thing going on, but we don't need to be dragged down. Right? If people can do what they want, you know, they're not hurting anybody. Come on, right? So just be aware of that. Getting a little nervous. I hear that wind picking up and I saw that we have snow coming. So <laughs> hope it's not too crazy. Oh no. All right. We have... The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So we really, again, when we're talking about uh, accountability and looking at how do we react to the world, what anger are we putting out there? Even if you feel it's very, 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 very justified, justified an anger. Okay, I don't doubt it. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that we're seeing that need to be corrected. Absolutely. But do you think that it's going to get corrected by hate and anger? Has that worked before? If it worked, we wouldn't be in this position, <laughs> okay? So as the energy starts to gain momentum, make sure you're in the more supportive, loving energy. And don't twist it. Don't twist it like what we're just supposed to like, you know, forgive everybody who did bad things. Yeah, yeah, doesn't mean that it's okay. But that's part of the release. It's part of us <laughs> making real efforts to bring peace into this world. 
when we stop worrying about being right all the time and we make a decision that we're not going to tolerate certain things, I've made this very clear. If you uh, uh, have watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that women's issues, especially, and especially protecting children, those are the big things that, you know, amongst other things, but <laughs> those are two very, very big ones. And as I watch, you know, women around me uh, and just, you know, in my neighborhood and around, and I hear how they're in their relationships and how the men are speaking to them and the expectation or trying to hang out with a friend and she has to run home to her husband because he's home now, I got to get home. You know, stuff like that just kind of, um, it stops me in my tracks and it makes me very aware that there still is this dynamic out there of women being lesser than, right? Now, I am making the choice to not engage in that. I'm not, but that's for me personally. What other people need to learn, what other people need to go through, that's up to them. But I'm not going to sit over here and make this generalization that every man is awful. I, I'm not, <laughs> that's not true. I know that's not true. I know there are men out there who could be in relationships if they choose a woman to be in that relationship and be loving and respectful and kind. I know that. So I'm not going to sit here with fear and resentment in my heart and putting that out into the collective. Does that make sense? So apply that to whatever it is that you get upset about. All right. And see what else you can do. <laughs> All right. So then we have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. A lot of times we'll get into this space of I have to defend because there's a threat. Okay. I feel threatened because my belief system is threatened or my way of life is threatened or what have you. And what this is saying is that's not necessary. If you energetically protect yourself, and your family, you will be all right. You will be all right. It's when we fall into fear that things really start to um, get drawn in. And I've done that myself. I've done that myself where I've gotten into a low space just with stress and everything. And I got really, really sick and, you know, had really toxic people coming into my life and staying and wouldn't get out and <laughs> the whole bit. So, this really is an energetic talk. It is an energetic talk. I mean, we have to be accountable for what we're putting out there. Okay. And you'll be all right. Uh, you're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. This feels like things are going to work out fine. They may not work out the way you think they should, but they're wor working out for the betterment of everybody. And sometimes it doesn't feel like that on the surface. Why? Um, I don't know. Things have to break open. Words have to be exchanged so that now we see, aha, this is where people are. Aha, this is what, <laughs> this is what's going on. Okay. We're learning about each other by watching each other's actions, observing, yes, without interfering, but, you know, observing where people are. And it says that we can get to peace. We need to make that a goal. It can't just be every day like, oh, I just want a love partner. Oh, I just want success. Oh, I just want, you know, I just dropped all the cards. <laughs> Oops. Um, actually, I put that down there too. But, you know, we have to be thinking of others, okay? Our siblings across the planet. There needs to be more love. There needs to be more love. All right. And then we have have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Now, again, you could take all of these cards uh, for some meaning in your personal life. But again, I feel like this whole reading says you're going through the uncomfortable time of understanding where, you know, everything we talked about, where all your fears are, all of that. And, um, we're getting disconnected from loving one another because we want to blame each other for everything. We want to say, you know, we're generalizing too much. Very much so. And it, may, it makes me crazy because people will say, oh my gosh, these people stereotype. And they, but the people who are saying these people stereotype, they're the ones who stereotype themselves. And <laughs> again, accountability, okay? We have to wake up to what we are doing and how we are contributing. All right, so let's get a color card. Oh, now I didn't do a meditation this week, but what I'll do is whenever this premieres, 
Um, I'm on live chat with you guys unless something comes up and I can't be there, but um, I will meditate immediately after for 10 minutes. So if you want to partake in that as well, that's, we can meditate together. Okay, so we have a really beautiful card here. It's gold, attract abundance. The number is 21, like 2021. So we can really, we can have a change here, a very positive, beautiful, loving change, but we have to become more aware. We have to become more aware. And maybe we need to stop giving into people who are doing attention seeking behaviors. Maybe we need to stop giving into manipulation. Maybe we need to drop jumping to conclusions and thinking we have the whole story and acting out because we don't like the story. We can be abundant. We can have all of our needs met. We don't have to go through the struggles and the turmoil. We just need to find our way back into our hearts. I'm telling you, we will block ourselves so quickly and contribute to blocking world peace, okay? <laughs> when we keep getting into this space of being obsessed with our story, being obsessed with our story. If you we were to come out beyond the story that's playing out right now, what would you find? Who would you be? And how does that change things? Do that exercise for yourself this week. Go into meditation, lift out of the story, and see what you see. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. <laughs>